What is going on everyone? Tutorial Tim here today and I got another tips and trick video for you. More of a tip more than a trick and we're gonna go ahead and talk about it. It is for Figma of course and we're talking about the community beta for those of you who are signed up on the Figma community beta and here as you can see this is a great community to help really expedite your design process. And what I mean by expediting your design process is that the Figma community beta, once you click on that tab in Figma, allows you to access resources that are categorized by design systems. So I can grab uh, resources for design systems. I could specifically look at files around that pertain to design systems, or I could specifically look at plugins that are for design systems. And these are all accessible in the Figma community beta. And if you don't have it, I'll have a link in the description for you to register to the Figma community beta. And it's really simple to utilize. Uh, here we have a category for wireframes, illustrations, icons, typography, mobile design, uh, web design, and UI kits. So with that said, we can go ahead and check one of these out or you could access the explore feed and you can categorize uh, the the files that you're trying to access or the plugins or the creators, uh, you can access them in two ways. When it comes to files and creators, you can click on them, uh, categorize creators by the most popular creators and by the most recent creators. And these are great ways to really just start to diversify uh, the your, your resources and understanding of what is really available in the Figma community it's a really great resource for you to just expedite your design process and we'll get to that portion now. So if I go ahead and access files, um, if I really need to build out some sort of illustration, say for example, I can go ahead and click on illustrations here and maybe I need some, some really, really great avatars. And here you can see that you can like these uh, resources or you could directly download them from this view or you could just click on them from the get-go and, and once this loads we'll um, we can also navigate the pages from within this view uh, on what is available in this library and you can zoom in and whatnot you can make it full screen you can like it or and you could duplicate it so this resource is also yours and depending on what the uh, licensing is for this file, and you can check that right, you should be able to access the uh, the the licensing. Excuse me, it's under this details category right here. So this is license. You can click on the license, and it states the type of uh, copyright. So this is. Uh, a license which essentially says we're free to copy and redistribute the material in any medium or format. Um, we can utilize this commercially. So if you're trying to put this in a product you're trying to sell, you are good to do that. So that's what's great about this resource as well. So it can really help you implement things in your designs which you can then put into production. And that is the tip I have for you today. Next time I might have a trick for you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.